Look, I mean, Apple Computer was like worth three billion 12 years ago, and then went to 600 billion. If you ask me, Apple Computer is going to two thousand dollars a share, right? I mean, I'd be very, very long that company. Whoever's selling that stock must be a moron, right? I mean, this this is a company that's going to actually have four billion devices out there. If they roll them over once every four years, they're going to sell a billion devices a year. And and the thing that people uh, they don't get, right? You either get it, or you don't get it. I'm going to come back to your PC question. I don't know a lot about PCs. I bought 10,000, 20,000 PCs in my life. I got 3,000 sitting underneath my desks. You put a Dell computer underneath a desk, you don't care that it's loud and, and it's uh, hot and it's a power hog and it's ugly and it's heavy. And it's like an ugly beige cabinet with screws showing. You don't give a crap. You just want it to be $400 or $500. Okay? You put a phone in your pocket and you sleep on it or next to it, you care whether it's hot, you care what it looks like, you care the, the battery life, you care about the radio. This is an iPhone 5. This runs 10 times faster than an iPhone 4. There's not an 8-year-old on the planet that doesn't want an iPhone 5. <laughs> right? Who wants to wait 42 seconds to watch something download instead of 2 seconds? Nobody. Right? You don't have to be a genius to run Apple computer. You just have to, every year, make the product a bit lighter, a bit more elegant, make it a better radio, make it a better battery. And then I sat with, uh, you know, one of the ten richest guys in the world for dinner three nights ago, five nights ago, and we had dinner for four hours, and he did half the talking, I did half the talking, and, at one, and he's much more successful than I am. I understand that, by the way. As I said, it's like, it's, you don't, sometimes you've got to do other things than just have opinions to make money, right? There's a lot of execution involved in the rest. But I have opinions. So... <laughs> So he said to me, you know, Apple computer, can these guys hold their prices, you know? Aren't, you know, aren't they going to follow the model of the PC industry? And aren't their prices going to taper down? Their 40% margins are going to become 30 and 35 and 20? And it's another example of people just know enough to hurt themselves, right? If you're going to know a subject, you better know the subject because being like a you know, dilettante and knowing part of the subject is just enough to hurt yourself somehow. And I said... No, they, they, their gross margins don't have to tailor down. I mean, if you go to France, and this is the benefit of seeing enough, you go to France, you see Bernardo no runs a company, LVMH. They're selling handbags for $4,000, $3,000, $2,500 dollars each. This is a device that women view as fashion, and it's 10,000 years old. And for 10,000 years, no, the prices are not lower after 10,000 years. If you actually care about this thing, how many women have $300 pair of shoes? How many have two? How many have more than two? Right? The, the truth of the matter is, is when the technology goes from being a utilitarian vocational brick that I put under my desk, no one gives a crap about that, to being a, a, a piece of clothing, right? a fashion statement, um, uh, extension of your personality, a piece of jewelry, and iPhones, iPads, they're, they're somewhere between clothing and jewelry and, and uh, accessory. At that point, they can hold that price point forever. They can, they can basically sell you another $500 device every two years forever because everybody's got five. And that the first billion people have got that, and the rest of the world is getting elevated up. So uh, I think that you're going to see, uh, a con you'll see a wider diversity of offerings, you'll see there will be cheaper tablets, and the cheaper, t the $100 tablet will go to Pakistan and the, and the 700 million peasants of China, and more power to them. That means those 700 million peasants are going to get a college education and get a master's in computer science, and I'll probably be hiring 20,000 of them. And I'll pay them 5,000 a year, which would be five times more than 1,000 a year, and then I'll pay them 10,000 a year, and, and the entire society will go from 2 billion to 3 billion to 5 billion white collar workers. And as their discretionary income increases, they're going to buy more and more expensive things. And anybody sitting in the middle of that controlling the software application networks that have all the, have all the asset value in them, those companies are going to benefit in a marvelous fashion.